Hello, this is Byrne, and if you've been played by a man, perhaps more than once, and you want to ensure that stops today, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how to significantly reduce the risk of being played by men, so stick with me. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams, attract the kind of guy you want without any type of gimmicks or manipulation, and as a result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, I get that phone call, I get that email, I get that request for help when someone, a woman, feels played by a man. So the first thing I have to say to you right now is that not all women who feel played were really played. And it's important for you to have the right definition of being played so that you have the opportunity to change it in the future. So first step is, I'm gonna say there's four types of being played, but only one of them in my mind is being played. The first type would be where a guy Pre, in a preemptive, in a, he premeditates this playing you. He wants to get something from you and he schemes and he manipulates only to get that thing. And when he gets this thing, whether it's having sex with you, whether it's uh, cash from you, whether it's status from association, from your friends, anything, then he gets what he wants and then he can move on or he drops you quickly, right? That's premeditated and that's the true being played by a guy. Now, I'm gonna say to you right now that the vast majority of of women who feel played by men are not do not fit into this category. This would probably be the smallest category of all of them. The other ones are just confusing stages that are not really being played but feel that way. Second one is misalignment. What does that mean? That means that your vision for the life, the love, the future that you want, his vision for the life, the love, the future that he wants, or the way to go about it are not in agreement. And both of you, both, not just him, did not communicate at the level that you needed to to understand this was the case. So obviously when you found out it's a mismatch, he doesn't want children and I do, or he doesn't want marriage and I do, or vice versa. Then you say, well, man, I wasted all this time. He was just wasting my time. He played me. And maybe it was just both of you didn't know how to communicate to each other. He didn't play you. He just, you didn't ask the right questions. That happens a lot. Third one would be when there's a change of heart. This feels painful sometimes because the guy starts out one way and then ends up a different way. That means he starts by saying, I want children, I want marriage, I want deep devotional love, I want monogamy, and then halfway in between, he changes his mind on either what he wants in those uh, different factors or who he wants it with, right? And that feels like he played you, but he didn't play you. Maybe he just changed his heart. Now, there's ways to do it that are honoring and there's ways to do it that are not honoring but everybody, you included, are allowed to change your mind. Now, the challenging piece for most women who tell me there's a change of heart is that they noticed something was off, something was not where it needed to be, and they let it go, they let it go, they pushed it down, they didn't ask the right questions then, they didn't set a strong boundary, and then the shit hit the fan eventually, but it could have been avoided, or at least cut off sooner than it happened, had both of you have the clarity and the courage to ask the right questions and to set the right boundaries. So that's another one. Change of heart, not necessarily being played. It's you, because I hear from lots of women who change their mind in the middle of a relationship and say to a guy, I can't no longer do this, right? Last one is confusion. And this one is challenging because sometimes a guy is confused. He's confused from the start. And you confuse, you yourself confuse the intensity you feel for him for, well, it's so intense that it must be right. It must be my soulmate. And it's not. He's just a guy who's confused. He doesn't know what the hell he wants. He's not doing what he needs to do to get his life in order, his finances in order, and he doesn't have what it takes to step into a long-term relationship because he can't metaphorically wipe his own ass. How can he step into something that requires devotion and giving of himself and uh, surrendering, right? It's, it's just, a, it's just a, but, but if you connect to a confused guy because he tells you that he loves you and because he really wants to be with you even though he can't, he, it feels like he played you. So I just want to make sure that you understand that not all times you say I was played, you were really played. Now, here are things you can do right now that you understand the truth of this to mitigate the risk of being played or experiencing this misalignment, change of heart or confusion. The first one is get clear on what you want. Why do I start with that? Because I've connected with tons of women. When I ask them, what do you want? They give me a vague answer 
And when I ask them, do you want children? They, they lie to themselves sometimes and they say, yes, I do when they don't. Or they say, I, I don't really think I do when they do. So be very clear as to what you want. Because if you want, for example, monogamy versus an open relationship, it matters with the type of guy you connect with. If you want children versus no children, or you're open but not necessarily attached to it, it matters, right? Because guys want different things. Uh, do you want marriage or not? Do you want that piece of paper that says we're legally bound to each other or do you not care about it? It matters. Uh, all those little things and the type of vision that you have for the future, the types of things you want to do, do you like traveling or not? Get clear on what it is that you want so that when you connect to a man, you can say, you know what? It's similar to what I want, similar enough to where I'm willing to compromise or too different and I'm not willing to compromise. Second one, second thing you can do to reduce the risk of feeling played is ask better questions earlier on. What does that mean? It means that if you connect to a man who is not wanting the kind of vision that you hope for yourself, for your life, for your intimacy, and you find out month number six or seven or eight or year number one that it's not, it's not what you want, and you really could have asked that question on the first date, and many times you can, then you're doing yourself the service. The biggest problem I found in terms of women not asking good questions earlier on is they feel, I don't want to pressure him. I don't want him to think I'm desperate. It's not about being desperate. You're not asking him, do you see yourself having, uh, giving me babies? No, you ask him, are you interested in having children at some point in your life? Awesome, when? I mean, like, when do you see that happening? How, why is that exciting for you? You can ask questions that relate to him that don't necessarily include you in the picture and get a clear yes, a clear no or a maybe. And based on that, you can either invest more time or cut your losses way shorter. Number three, actions rule. What does that mean? You can have a guy who's roomy or Hafiz embodied into manhood and he can tell you the most beautiful poetry and he can uh, light up your ears with passion and words and just beautiful, uh, expressions of, of himself, the actions he takes are far more significant than the words he utters because anyone who has a passionate heart can get ahead of himself and say things that he either doesn't really mean or that he means but doesn't have the coglioni, coglioni is uh, cojones or testicles uh, or balls in short, to follow through and actually make it happen, right? So you want a guy with strong sense of... Uh, manhood in himself, metaphorically speaking, so that he can take action on the words that he says that he's interested in. So if he says, I love you, well, what's the proof of that in real action? I'm really interested in whatever. Like, is he really taking action? That's where I would focus my mind in versus just the words he's saying. Am I saying words are not important? Words are very important, but they're more, not more important than actions. Last one is take longer to become exclusive. Why? And so a funny thing happens, you connect to a man, you get really attached, you get emotionally connected, you get physically sexually connected, and then letting go of him is way harder, even when he's not the right fit, even when he's doing things that he shouldn't be doing to be in a monogamous relationship. So if you take longer to connect with him, if you take longer to be exclusive, you take longer to even have sex with him, all those things, then your rational mind will have more time to gauge and put some stops and see red flags that you would not have seen if you happen to go all in the first date. I hear women who tell me, Bern, you just don't understand. I just met this guy last week, but it feels like I've known him forever. And I say, I know it feels that way, but it's not fucking true. You don't know him for real. You don't know him even though your soul feels like you do. Now, is it possible that you, your hypothesis is right? It's possible, but it's not a given. So take longer to actually tell yourself that you really know him when you just feel connected with him, but you really don't know who he is. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful for you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it, and also click on the bell, little bell, that will allow you to watch episodes as soon as they come out. Third and most important of all, if you are saying to yourself, I want more, then on the first link on the description of this video, you will find uh, just click on that. It will take you to a page where you enter your name and email and you can start watching a free masterclass that I created for you that explains how you can step into the best type of relationship in a way that's less painful than your previous trajectory. Now, if you're saying to me, I get the videos and I love them and it's giving me some insight, 
but I want a lot more than I recognize. I'm, I'm humble enough to ask for help and I'm intelligent enough to know that I need more help than just videos. I'm not saying everybody does, but if you do, if you feel like you need more help than just videos and you want to save yourself from five years of trial and error or 10 years of trial and error unnecessarily, then reach out for help. There's another link on the description of this video where you can apply to work with me. Uh, if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and set up a time to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.